Well, hi, and welcome to my demonstration this afternoon. I've got my trusty little companion Rambo. Say hello, Rambo. That's it. Um, my demonstration is uh, sort of with a favourite stand and some favourite foliages and flowers. So we'll just start by popping in a clipped cat farm. This is a clipped cat farm. Uh, if you want to know how to clip plant material for leaf manipulation, all you need to do is to Google leaf manipulation and I'm sure you can find it on YouTube and the likes. Uh, so we're just putting in four pieces. Look at the wind. Isn't the wind lovely? <laughs> nothing like a bit of wind. <laughs> and this is nothing like wind. It's just very bad. Um, right, some lovely uh, fascias going in now. And uh, to stop them turning, I'm going to do a sort of a double cut. I'm cutting one side and then the other to make a sort of a arrow head. So that when I push it into the foam, it doesn't turn. It stays where I want it to go. Um, so these are some lovely uh, fascias, also known as aurelia. So we're just going to pop them in. And one down here, doing that double cut again. And then I'm going to put one fairly close into the foam. Just to begin to mask the uh, oasis. So I'll just let you see how that's progressing. Voila. And uh, oh no, hang on. What's he saying? Hold on. He's asking me something. What's that? Oh, for goodness sake, Rambo. Why didn't you go when we before we started? Um, he's just got to shoot off everybody. <laughs> oh, he's a little monkey, isn't he? Um, and then <laughs> some lovely variegated asquidistra leaves, um, which are fabulous. And I've just literally within the last uh, few weeks, uh, purchased an, uh, a variegated Aspidistra plant. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, using them much later on, a bit early at the moment, because it's only a small plant. And then I've got some plain Aspidistra, which I'm just gonna shove in the back. Oh, I shouldn't say shove. <laughs> I should say, I'm going to place these into the back of the arrangement. Again, just to start to mask the oasis, uh, not that you can see the back. <laughs> oh dear. And then uh, I'll put one more in just here. Uh, I like sort of freestyle. I, I, do I class this as freestyle? Yes, I probably do. Um, because um, you're not governed by too many uh, technical things. Um, what are they called? Um, <laughs> they'll come to me in a minute. Um, so we're slowly beginning to um, create the shape. Now sometimes when I get to that point, I don't complete the shape. Unlike when I first started back in 1977, I know I don't look that old, but back in 1977 when I started, we were taught that you foliage, you green up uh, into your foam uh, to give you a shape that you then follow to. Um, I'm afraid I don't do that. now. Fabulous. I'm going to start with uh, an Asiatic lily called Apricot Fudge, and I love it. So we're just going to pop that in. And that's going to give us a little bit of height. And I'm going to extend just a couple, one down here and one fairly close and cutting it really short. And then I've got a fabulous rose and uh, I've forgotten the name of it. It's a beautiful rose. It's a lovely little uh, Colombian rose. So I'm just popping them in. Now, I was trained at Hadlow College many years ago, and uh, at Hadlow College, they taught us all to do sort of lines and groupings. And to this day, I still do lines and groupings. Um, I just find it very pleasing on the eye, uh, and your eye follows the, the flower into the designs. And then we can just put a couple 
just towards the back, just to take our eye right through the design. And then we want one fairly short, just into the focal area. So now I'm going to put in a lovely stock, and this is called abricot. Of course, that's French for apricot. Stocks are uh, a must, they're lovely at this time of the year, but having said that, not short lived, but we do enjoy them while they're here, don't we? So, um, so I'm just going to pop a couple of them in, and that one's going to go fairly low into the design near the focal flower. Voila! And then, oh, this is wonderful. This is an apricot carrot tulip. Now, I don't know, for some unknown reason, I have cut these several times and they still refuse to take up water. But um, do you know what? I don't really mind because I'm going to dangle them over the front here. Right, and then I'm going to bring one up there. And then I don't know if this one is Yes, I think this, look at that, that is beautiful. And I think I might be able to get that up near this jolly old Jemini. So, here we are. There's the finished design. And if I just move my box out of the way, this is all very new to me, um, because obviously I'm used to uh, an audience. But today, I have just my cameraman and my uh, timing engineer um, but what I want to do for you now is just to take this across to here where I have done two in advance just tuck that under there just to link these two together there and with that one there and then all I need to do now is just to get my old friend Rambo you okay? Yes? Good. So Rambo, all we need to do now is to say, I hope you've enjoyed the demonstration. I'm sure it'll be much more professional next time I do it. <laughs> but we just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed uh, my demo and uh, just a very goodbye. So goodbye and catch you another time.